the sun is out on my college campus, and what better way to spend my time than painting and conversing with random college students? I can't think of a better way to spend my April 20th. Sit back, relax. Today is a special day, and this will be a calming experience here on The Joy of Painting. Keep in mind, I've also never painted in my entire life, so I'm sure these pieces of art are going to come out phenomenally. Just remember though, there's no such thing as mistakes, just happy little accidents. So everyone breathe in, and breathe out. What's one piece of advice you'd give someone who's younger than you? I would say the number one thing is, the college that you go to does not matter as much as you think it does. Yeah. It's more about what you do. What you make of it! Uh-huh. It's what you make of it. Thank you, random person. <laughs> would you say that there's like one particular thing that helped you get out of your comfort zone recently? Honestly, it's the will to meet new people. It overtook my shyness. I just love life. I love people. You know, when you get out of like depressive episodes, you really just stop and you're just like, wow. Life, there's beauty to it. There really is. There's something just magical about being in the present. And what would you say to people who don't know what to do with their life? I think just follow your heart and follow the path that you think you're meant to go. You know, don't listen to what other people say. How do you recommend people go about depressive spats or like lowest moments? I think coming from an Asian immigrant parenting that resonates really well because I was always told like, why are you crying? There's nothing to cry about. It doesn't matter. And true, I understand the intention of that, but also it's like invalidating to feelings. Maybe this is also morbid, but I think it's just like the only way to get through it is to get through it. And I think that's easier said than done. But once you kind of truly understand what that really means of like, wow, the only person who can get through this is me. Like no matter what people say to help you try to feel better, no matter what people give advice for like how to do better or like different methods and strategies for you to like not think about being sad, the only person who's gonna enter out of that state is you. And so I think it's also being able to talk to yourself as well. A lot of people don't like to thank themselves or they don't like to talk to themselves and really figure out what's wrong. But for me, I would literally look in a mirror and like tell myself like, okay, like why are you feeling this way? What can we do about it? Do we want to feel better about it? Do we not want to feel better about it? And you are the only person that can do those check-ins for yourself. And you're the best person that understands yourself too. So in a way, it's kind of like being your own best friend. I think more people should cry. Yes. Good. Crying is so awesome. Hand bond. Crying is awesome. What's one thing you're trying to change about yourself now that the pandemic is starting to see a close? Be more social. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, <laughs> me too. Well, like, because I kind of forgot how it was to, like, be with friends and, like, do fun stuff. And I kind of got used to being in, like, my own room and just, like, watching TikTok or, like, now more so than, like, ever. I'm like, wow, it's really important to have, like, friends. And it's so much fun, like, hanging out with them and doing stuff and doing crazy stuff like this. You got to beat the devil out of it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Have you never heard that from Bob Ross? Would you say there's been one person in particular that's kind of, like, led you to the good life you're living now? I don't like this idea that family is just blood. I'm a big proponent that like you can choose your family. And so I think through the friendships that I've made in my life, that's definitely shaped like who I am. And like, cause I have like a couple of friends who like have made sure that I feel supported regardless of like what's going on. And like, I wouldn't say one person. I think like there's like three or four who have been in my life for a really long time who make a point to like be there. You know? Right. Like, yeah, I love my friends as much as I love my family. No, Obviously, for like, sure. I appreciate my family for like taking care of me at a young age. You know, I didn't get to pick them, and in the same sense, like I, you know, I love my friends equally as much. I hope you all have a lovely 420, and God bless. Jesus Christ! What the hell is this? This is so, this is so gross. It took me this long. Yeah.